everyone shaver 1000 here this is what we're working on today it's got some electrical issues keeps popping a fuse and uh, some wiring is getting hot so it sounds like it may need a I'm gonna have to check the wiring sounds like it might be uh, shorted somewhere so I want to check make sure the battery's got juice in it and uh, We'll go from there. Stick around. Okay, guys, it's a few days later. I got some parts for this thing for him. And I'm going to go ahead and take these four bolts out. And I'm just going to set the gas tank up there because I've got to get down in there where the CDI box is. And uh, then. We'll go ahead and, um, I forgot my tripod, so, uh, anyway, let me get these four bolts out. There's nothing to that, and then I'll show you what we're going to do there. All right, guys, so, got these two. They're just Allen heads. I got them out. Take this off. We'll set this over here. Now, <clears throat> there's the solenoid. This is where the CDI box plugs in. I brought, I took it with me to get some numbers. Okay, so I'm not going to need that. Um, the coil is right here. We are going to be changing this coil, putting a new coil, a high performance coil on for him. That's that orange stuff over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to replace this first the solenoid and see if it'll crank with the key I'm not sure if I gotta change those or not they've been changed once so uh, not sure what's going on with that alright this is your regulator voltage regulator we got an extra one then but I'm not going to change it because there's nothing wrong with it but he had me get two of everything so that way he can carry with him you know and up in here somewhere or whatever in case he breaks down so all I'm going to do is unplug this right here it's real simple Just push that in just push that in and Pull that out. Hard to do one handed. Just like that. Now, I think these are 10 millimeter. I want to take these off. Okay, guys, I got the CDI box in. I got the uh, starter solenoid in. That just plugged right in. The wires are correct. A different color but they are correct got the coil on there for him now let's give this a shot and see uh, I gotta put I turn the jump box on Okay, now I'm going to put this cover back on, get all this buttoned up. I'm going to check all these fluids for him. I'm going to take these off, take them home, fix them for him. And um, the brake light switch, I got to gotta fix it. I just, I had to do that. So, I'm going to hook the brake light switch up for him the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. All right, let me get this done.
Okay, so as you can see, it's running. Uh, there's a bunch of extra parts. Most of them parts are good. I'm gonna bring, his turn signals are broke. So I took them off, I'm gonna bring them home, fix them for him, and bring them back Wednesday. Throw them on there for him, and uh, he should be ready to rock and roll. So I gotta go shut that gas off and take the jumper box off. And that'll do it for that one. So, cool. Not much to them, guys. Parts for this thing are, is cheap. So, all right. Thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for more videos like this if you're into this kind of thing. So, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend. I'm gone for now.